Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to get your mobile hotspot working on your LG G2. Now this is for the AT&T version and this I'm running straight talk on. As you can see it does say AT&T but the new SIM cards do that. Um, I have 4G currently, normally I have LTE but it's being slow today for some reason. But what I wanted to show you is how to get your mobile hotspot working if you want to share your, your uh, internet from your phone um, for your uh, laptop or you know iPad or whatever um, another tablet so basically here I wanted to show you if I go into settings and if I go under tethering and networks and this is here it says mobile hotspot this is for you can turn on your mobile hotspot and connect to other devices to phone via Wi-Fi so if you do it just normally you hit on and it does this it has to authenticate it and this is the way it's set up from your phone from the factory when you get it because um, AT&T doesn't want you to have this working without them knowing about it or having to pay for it extra so I'm gonna show you how to get it working now see it says that it's unsuccessful it can't do it so I did a little research and figured out what I gotta do now first of all <clears throat> what you're gonna wanna do is go to the Play Store and you're going to want to search for SQ Light Editor. There it comes up right there. That's what we're going to want to want. And um, I already have it in here. So basically, that's what you're going to want. But if you go under Apps here, you can see I have it here SQ Light Editor. Now, also, the, your phone has to be rooted for this. Um, I should have said that right up front, but your phone does have to be rooted for this. If you don't know what that means, you can research to learn what that means, but basically it lets you access um, information and change, make changes that you normally can't um, without rooting. And there's some great videos out there. If you, if you research, just make sure you don't you know, get just any video, but you know, get a legit one if you want to do it yourself. Um, you can void your phone's warranty by doing that. I just want to precaution you. Just make sure you um, read about it, figure out you know what you're getting into if you want to do this. But in order to do this, from here on, you do need to have your phone rooted. Now that app does cost three dollars on the Play Store. It's well worth it if you want to be able to have this hotspot feature working. So what we're going to want to do, I'll show you the the path of where to go here because this can all look pretty foreign. So, if you go under data here, D-A-T-A, -A, data or data, however you say it, depends where you're from. I say data, so now um, after you do that, the next step is to hit data again. And then what we're going to look for down here is com.android.providers.settings. So it's all in alphabetic order here. So here we go, com.android.providers.settings. And then next we're going to want databases. And next we're going to want settings. And then next we're going to want system. Now the best way, because there's a ton of stuff in here I found, is to search under here for tether. T-E-T-H-E-R and hit OK. And then it came up. So now I'm going to zoom in here just to show you here. Um, as you can see, this bottom one, Tether Entitlement Check State, has a 5 here. So push and hold on this field, and it'll pop open this window, and you want to hit Edit Field. <clears throat> now what we're going to want to do, instead of 5, make sure it's all the way backspaced, we're going to want to go minus 1. Now see what I did there? And then hit Save. Now see how it changed that now to minus 1 instead of 5? Now, let's get out of this. We'll just go to home here. Let's go to settings again. Let's go to tethering and networks. Let's go to mobile hotspot. And as you can see immediately, it says Wi-Fi hotspot is active. Now, this is just what I named my phone, PWG2. That's why it says that. That's the name of my phone. So I should zoom this back out here. But anyways, as you can see up here, it says it's active. So if I scroll down, it says mobile hotspot is active touch to configure which I already did so basically some people were saying that you have to shut your phone down and restart it I didn't find that you had to because if I go back to here where I was in the SQLite editor it still stayed 
and everything works and my Wi-Fi hotspot is active. So that's how you do it. Um, I did some research. I had to kind of find the hard way to do it. So I wanted to make a video to help you guys out. And um, so yeah, enjoy your hotspot. Thanks for watching.